Hi, this is the Sour Savior doing another tour video. Uh, this time I'm doing a tour of the farms that I pointed out on the map the last time I walked you around this world. So we're going to start out by heading left here to the sugarcane fields. Sugarcane has to grow uh, on dirt or sand block that is adjacent to water, but the sugarcane doesn't block doesn't have to be adjacent to water so I've covered the water with blocks to make it easier to walk in and amongst the sugarcane uh, over here at the end we have kind of the goal for this which is that each row is separated by a full wall with a light source at the top to keep monsters from spawning in and among them and to make it so that the sugarcane as it breaks doesn't fall outside of the row, as you can see this piece did. That would make it uh, faster and more convenient to pick up. And then as we go down along here, I converted a couple of rows of sugarcane to growing potatoes and beetroot before I built the farm over here. Now this was originally envisioned as being all for wheat, because uh, the villagers won't breed unless you throw bread at them. But I wound up converting some of the rows to melons and pumpkins, which give a better return on emeralds. And for carrots and beetroots, uh, way at the other end, because they're helpful for leveling up the farmer uh, villagers. And over here is a little patch of netherwort that... Uh, fellow server member Fred uh, pr planted here next to my farm uh, since we're mostly cooperating with each other on this world right now. I'm going to try to get through here without... Oh, well, I accidentally broke some farmland. That's fine. I'll just repair it later. Yeah, here's the beetroots. Now this stone structure is my chicken farm. Here we have a hopper feeding into a chest. The chest is full of eggs. We go up here. You can see that that little stone space is just full of chickens. I make the chickens up here where they have space to spawn and then they inevitably fall down into the middle of the pit where they stand there laying eggs onto the top of that same hopper that we saw. <clears throat> Here are my pigs. I don't have very many pigs. Here are my sheep. I painted most of them purple because my personal banner is purple and it's helpful to have a lot of purple wool for that. I uh, made a couple of them black, too, because I thought I had a shepherd who wanted to buy black wool, uh, but instead he wanted to buy dark gray wool, so eventually I'll have to take care of that. Just pass here. We have my cows, uh, currently looking a little sparse. I needed some leather a while back, so I took out a bunch of these cows. And I'll breed new ones with wheat uh, at some point in the future. Uh-oh. Creep creeper over there. Let's see if I can hit him. Not quite. There we go. I'm sure he wasn't happy about taking that trident to the face. And here we have my for donkeys. I don't have much use of them in this world because of how much ocean there is, uh, but in a large flat world donkeys can be very helpful because of the ability to put a chest on them instead of armor so they can be extra storage space for you while you're walking around. And that's the farms around my base. Thank you for watching.